Hey everybody, Keto Genie here. So actually one of my most popular videos that I've ever posted on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my YouTube, anywhere, is called Bone Broth 101. And I know, guys, I know I harp on bone broth so much, but I just wanna show you how simple and easy this is. And it also ties into so many messages I get about, oh, well, you have so much time to cook and I can never think of what to cook and you know, meal planning is such a headache and it's easy to fall off track. And while those are all valid points, guys, you choose your own reality. You choose what's important to you, okay? And one way that you can choose to succeed is to just buy a couple organic rotisserie chickens and keep them in your freezer. Even if you don't need them at that moment, you always have them. I want you to see how much chicken meat came off of one rotisserie chicken, okay? Look at that, guys. Now, quickly, I'm gonna show you. I told you, just put the bones in. I am gonna cover this with water and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That's it. Okay, that's all you have to do to make bone broth. It is so easy. And I don't even need to measure this because I'm gonna need a new bottle, but you can measure it. It's about two to three tablespoons. I'm just gonna throw the rest of my bottle in, open a new one, okay? And then, actually I didn't have enough water to cover the bones, so that is it. You're gonna put water to cover the bones, two to three tablespoons of this apple cider vinegar with the mother, and you're gonna cook it in the crock pot for 12 to 24 hours, okay, and then you're gonna strain it and, and you can freeze it or put it in mason jars. But it is literally that simple, guys. There are so many bone broth recipes and you can get as creative as you'd like to. You can put in an onion, some celery, some carrots. You can put in fresh garlic, ginger. Uh, you can put in some leeks. You can add whatever you want to make the bone broth whatever flavor you like. I've just really decided I prefer the plain, and then if I wanna spice it up for an egg drop soup or whatever, then I can do that. But I also have it plain because everyone in my family drinks it daily. I give it to my three bulldogs. There's Ginger sitting there waiting for some. And again, guys, I'm sorry to keep belaboring the point, but one rotisserie chicken will yield you this much chicken meat. So half of this is gonna go in that chicken soup I'm making, and the other half, I mean, you can do a million things with it. You can do buffalo chicken dip, you can do just some plain old chicken salad, add some mayonnaise and some spices and something crunchy, maybe some celery. So I'm telling you guys, I mean, two top tips for everybody trying to get keto. Buy some rotisserie chickens, use your chicken in some great recipes and make some bone broth, guys, okay? You can do this, I promise you, it's so worth it. Keto on y'all, thanks for watching.